Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another nail video. <laughs> Do you like my fake silicon hand? Isn't it like creepy but really cool at the same time? This is actually a practice hand for nails and so you can stick like little tips in there. And I also got a finger recently. So these are pretty awesome. I thought I would try these out and maybe use them to film like more nail tutorials because currently right now I film my nail videos every time I do my nails and that's like once a month. And so if I want to do regular ones, these guys will come in handy. But I won't be using these today. I just wanted to show you guys my creepy silicon hand and finger. Today I'm going to show you how I transform my nails from this into this so my nails have been short for a couple of weeks and so i kind of missed the length and i wanted to do something a little bit more bright colorful and uh, something pretty easy to do as well so let's get into it by the way before i get started check this out this is when i burnt my head when i was trying to like curl my bangs i was like using a curling tong i was like oh maybe i can just get a bit of volume there and it went and i burnt my forehead uh, the joys of having bangs don't ever try to curl your bangs use like a hair dryer or rollers don't put a curling tong near your head like me you get this Today's nail inspiration came from Kylie Jenner. I saw this post a while ago and I did savor of her nails. You can see that she has like a French manicure, but um, instead of using just normal boring white, um, her nail artist has used like bright colors. And so I want to do something colorful like that combined with this sort of design where it's similar French tip, but there's this accent line going through the bottom here and the length of this nail is a little bit longer by the way this design is from nail unistella a really popular nail salon in south korea now my current nails are pretty beat up um, i've just removed um, my gel polish from them i do want to extend the length of my nails um, i feel like this design will look a little bit better with longer nails, but obviously you could do it with shorter nails too. I just prefer a longer length on mine. For my nail extension, I'm gonna be using the um, Wish Poly Gel Kit that I tried in my previous video. It actually turned out pretty good and the nails lasted about two and a half weeks before they started lifting. And so I'm gonna be using um, the pink gel this time. As always, I'm just gonna push back my cuticles, clean up my nail bed, give my nails a quick file buff, and then I'm going to extend. So I'll kind of like zoom through this bit because you guys have seen me do it before. So I'm done with my prep work. I did buff my nails to remove any natural shine so that the poly gel can adhere better to it. And so I'm going to um, apply a coat of the Angel Pro Jelly Base Gel. And then I'm gonna cure that under my LED UV lamp for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to extend my nails using the poly gel kit. If you want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how to use this, check out my previous video. But here's a quick recap on how to use it. Basically, um, you get these little forms in the kit. You want to size them up with your nail and then you apply the poly gel onto the little form. And you use the slip solution and the brush to smooth the product out. And then you pop the form over your nail and let that cure under the light for one minute on the top side and 30 seconds underneath. Then once it's cured, you can remove the form and you've got a nail extension. And so now I'm going to do the same with the rest of my nails. Okay, so I'm done with one hand. I know this looks pretty bad, but after I file and shape them, they'll look a lot better. If you guys are using this sort of like poly gel um, 
material, my advice is to like leave a bit more room around the cuticle because the product tends to spill out. And so you can kind of file the little ridges away, but you kind of don't want it to touch your cuticle. I'm going to cut them down so they're a little bit shorter first and also cut a little bit off the sides so I don't have to file as much when I'm shaping them. Alrighty, so I'm done with this hand. I just wanted to show you guys a quick before and after. You can see that this side is much longer, but it's still like a fairly manageable natural sort of length. Um, I used to have natural nails this length, and so I can't wait until my nails grow out again. Last time they were very thick, but this time I applied less product, and so they're much thinner now. I'm going to quickly do the same with this side and then we'll get to painting and um, the nail art. Okay, so that's both hands done. That's what my nails are looking like. Because I've used a pink poly gel, this is going to be my base color so I don't have to paint another color on top. Okay, so I've just grabbed a bunch of colors that I think would work for this. I'm going to put it on my little palette here, just like a dot of each, and then just see if I'm happy with the color. By the way, I made this using the poly gel. So I just um, spread it on like a piece of plastic, flattened it out, and then cured it, and it became this like resin. And then I just painted some gold polish around it. So I made my own little palette. So I'm just gonna lay out all the colors just to double check that I'm happy with it. Make sure it kind of goes together. Okay, so just looking back on this design, the French tip is quite thin. So is the line at the bottom here. So I'm gonna do something similar to that, but obviously with different um, colors on each nail. So I'm gonna use two art brushes. One is slightly shorter and one's a longer one. The longer one I find um, easy to use when I'm dragging out a line. And so I'm gonna use that for the bottom line and then for the French tip, I'll use the shorter one, just so I have a little bit more control. I'm gonna start off with the blue shade first. And what I'm gonna do is just draw a line outwards and another line on the outer edge. So kind of form like a V shape. Now, because this blue color is from a bottle, it's not really opaque. I find that the little small pots that I use, like these little ones, the color's a lot more opaque. And so doing like line art is easier. Whereas the bottle ones are usually a bit more runny. And so you have to kind of do like a couple of coats to get the vibrancy. Once I've got my V, I'm just gonna draw a small line at the bottom here, just across and then round out the edges. Okay, so I'm just gonna cure that really quickly for 15 seconds. And then I'll quickly do another layer of that blue. Now, say you make a mistake, don't worry. Just grab like a small rounded brush like this. This is like a gel brush. I find like the rounded ones are a lot easier to use. Make sure it's clean. Grab a bit of gel cleaner. Dip your brush in the solution and then wipe the excess off on the paper towel. And then just use this to clean up any boo-boos and mistakes you make. When I started doing French tip with um, normal polish back then, you would use like acetone and this technique to just clean up the smile line. So you can do the same with the gel. Don't be afraid of making a mistake because you can always clean it up. Just make sure you don't cure it. Okay, I'm going to cure that. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with the other colors and my other nails. Now, if you're just starting to do nail art and using nail art brushes, remember to use your pinky to stabilize your hand. 
it's going to make things a lot easier. You're going to be able to draw a lot better and you're not going to shake and your hands is going to be a lot more um, steady and stable. So I always rest my pinky on, you know, a surface that I'm working with, like either on my hand or if I'm doing it down here, I'll rest it on the table. Just find a comfortable position. That way you can really just adjust how you sort of maneuver the brush and it's going to be a lot easier to draw lines. Okay, so that's one hand done with the French tip. So obviously you can leave it like this. I think that's pretty cool too. I think this is a nice colorful way to turn a French manicure into something a little bit more bright and happy. I'm going to create the line across the nail now and I'm going to test out these little stickers that I recently got. These are like little tip guides. I bought 10 packs of these for I think like $2 so it's quite inexpensive. So in there there's like a few different um, shapes. I'm going to use this curved one. But that's what it looks like. I'm going to stick it on my nail. And this is going to act as my guide and I'm just going to draw the same sort of color, just a thin line across. Now I'm going to peel it off and it gives me a perfect line. So I'm going to do the same with the rest. So that's my left hand done. Now I'm going to try to do my right hand. It's definitely going to be a lot harder because this is my non-dominant hand that I'm working with but I will try my best. So I've done the French tip. I'm going to again mask out or to stick the guides along the bottom of my nail and hopefully I don't stuff this up. So far I'm going pretty well. I was able to do my right hand successfully and this is what my nails are looking like so far. I'm actually digging my right hand a lot more. I think maybe because of like the colors are a bit more like pastel-y. But yeah, both still look good. Now I'm going to finish it off with a um, matte coat. So instead of using like a shiny um, top coat, I'm going to mattify it using the Angel Pro Speedy Matte. So it looks shiny at first, but once I cure it, it's going to look matte. So I'm going to cure that under the light for 60 seconds. This is what my nails look like. I'm actually really happy with how they turned out. And it looks like a pretty simple design, but it did take me ages to do, especially um, using my non-dominant hand. That did take a while. But yeah, I'm really digging this colorful set of nails. I'm glad that I have a little bit more length now. I kind of feel like me again. Now with this design, you can use any colors that you want or even just stick with one color. Whatever floats your boat, but just have fun with it. I think my favorite hand has to be my right hand with the sort of like lighter colors. This one still looks good too, but I, yeah, I'm digging this color combo a lot more. So I guess that's it for today's nail video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know if you've been doing your own nails at home and tag me in your creations. I recently bought a whole bunch of nail stuff, so hopefully you'll see more nail art videos in the future. I thought maybe I'll do like compilations or like 10 nail art tutorials that you can follow, like super easy designs. Um, let me know if you want to see that. I'm just brainstorming different nail um, art ideas I want to create. 
Anyways, that is it from me, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And remember to turn on notifications. That way you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I shall speak to you guys next time. Bye, teenies.